Alright, hey guys, it's Zachy D again. Uh, just want to do a kind of a quick walk around of my 68F100 that I got. I haven't really made any in-depth videos of this thing yet. I had the one walk around video and then another one where I made a new throttle linkage out of a ready rod. Well, yeah, this is it. It's a, like I said, 68F100. Tool drive has a 360 big block and three in the tree manual transmission. Squirrel. <laughs> uh, it's not the perfect, but it's actually a pretty solid truck. It's originally from Texas, so I've been told. So, anyway, it's under the hood. That's 360. From what I've known, the previous owner, uh, he said he bought it off a guy that was stationed in Texas, was in the military, and I put a decent amount of money into the thing, you know, tuning it up and all that. When I got it, kind of had a crappy misfire to it so right now it has a knockoff Chinese 2100 carb on it and I mean for 60 bucks this thing actually runs pretty good with it on I barely had to adjust it I mean I had to adjust the air fuel mixture a little bit but other than that it beats the heck out of uh, replacing the accelerator pump uh, seals all the time on the old uh, Holly that I had on here and I couldn't find reload kits for that either, so this was the next best option. Uh, things I want to do to the truck, I, for one, want to clean up the wiring. Because, well, let me start with over here. It's kind of a rat's nest of wiring. I just added stuff to it, like there's an electric fan that I haven't gotten to work. It had huge uh, mirrors on it. I put on the smaller California trucker style mirrors. I like these a lot better. Also, these ones, the original Ford Moto Company ones, so authentic. Typical Ford, though. Hoses, you know, very easy. I have new weather stripping to put on it. The door molding weather stripping to put on very soon. I would like to get armrests for it. The floor has a little bit of attention needed not too bad though seats normal tears in it i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna get a seat cover for it and rock it as far as the inside i don't know if, if i turn on the headlights if that'll or not headlights that's the wipers there we go dome light does work i guess it gives a little bit of light like i said three on the tree i have the e-brake on so right now it's in neutral because I just got back from driving it around the block. I filled up the tank. Has a little Sun Pro Super Tech on it. Other than that, I mean, I have a new dash pad for this. Well, not new, but one that doesn't have cracks in it. Just haven't gotten around to putting it on yet. Actually, locked out and found, found one in the junkyard. I have a little armrest here. Found that at a yard sale. I actually think I paid like five bucks for it. But. Get the other way. I have two new headlight bezel buckets for it. Again, not new. These were also from the junkyard. I got them for five bucks at the pop, so really got lucky there. Inside, I need to. I'm not sure if I want to put an aftermarket or an original radio in because it, it's actually kind of cut up in here, so. I'm not sure. I still have to hook up the heater controls, and I doubt I'm going to be able to see under here. No gonna be too dark there's a panel there he switched it from the glass bus style fuses to spade fuses but it's a flipping rat's nest of wiring under here but let's see eventually I want to do a paint job on it because someone just kind of you know we did a very crap well someone tried to call me and it came up as my own number so I wonder if that was spam or not probably uh, anyway like I said I was just running around the block so should just start right up.